guys, welcome back to my channel, Lucifer, Season 2, Episode 2. It has been a little bit since we watched the last episode, so I'm gonna do a quick recap of, like, what I basically remember. Um, so, like, at the end of Season 1, Amenazio was, like, to Lucifer, um, while all this shit was happening, somebody escaped the gates of hell. It ended up being their mother. The whole backstory to that is, um, she also betrayed God, and, yeah. you know, Lucifer didn't help her is basically the uh, the story. And so they think that, or at least Lucifer thinks, that she's back on Earth to kind of get revenge for him not doing anything. So, yeah, that's basically it. And then at the end of the first episode, she comes in stumbling and is like, help. Yeah, and wasn't he, like, trying to, like, find her, and then all of a sudden she comes to him, right? Yeah, he was like... trying to find her in the, like, detective work that him and Chloe were doing, and, you know, it ended up not being her. But now this actually is her. Yeah. So it's interesting. I wonder what kind of role she's going to play, if it's going to be, like, all about her this season. But also, there was that um, vial of blood that they were going to test, yeah, Lucifer's blood. Right. Was that in the mom's hand? Because remember, I remember saying, is that the vial of blood? I remember saying... I thought like, it was, I, I there thought was, it was some... a swab of Lucifer's blood, no? No, I thought it was a vial, because they were going to test it. Either it's swab or vial, it doesn't matter. Minute. They were going to test his blood, period. And she, I thought she had it in her hand, but I guess not. Maybe she did, though. I thought I saw it in the trash can at the detective's office, and then... Yes, because And then Chloe, Amenadiel, didn't he get it? Or no, he didn't. He didn't end up getting it because he was caught because his powers weren't working, which yes. we don't know why his powers were not working. We assumed that it was because of a mom, but... Who knows? We don't know what kind of power she yeah, she has. I, kinda... I assume a lot since she was, you know, Didn't remember a that. part of creation. I don't know. But, yeah. Again, not going to do a huge recap. I really do want to get into it because we haven't seen it in so long. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into episode two. Lucifer, where are you? Sir, are you okay? Has you think that's the mom? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We're getting right into it this episode. Yeah, I think that was the mom going into her body, maybe. And into different a bodies. body. Like, going into bodies that died. So, for her, this really is the body, like, not her body. No, like, no, she's no. just inhibiting this woman's body. That's also... But for Lucifer and Amenadiel, that's their true form. It's not like they took over a human body. At least, I don't think. Yeah, that's what I was asking you before. Like, we, that, the that was our question season. in the beginning, Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's fucked Just up because, up. like, whatever body she goes into, like, that's her life. You yeah, know but what also I mean? they'd be dead, so it don't really matter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Wow. At least I've managed to keep this flesh sack in one piece. It has not been easy. I apologize for my human form, but. At least this one has supreme hindquarters. They're quite sturdy, feel it. I wasn't referring, <laughs> nor will I ever refer to your butt, mother. I didn't know what she was talking about before. <laughs> what are you doing? Calling him in a deal. He's oh. praying. <laughs> Wonderful, he's here too. Your father put me in hell. Not you, I know that. Yes. Good. But I was your warden. Not by choice. We were both wronged. Correct. I'm your mother. Not for a very, very long time. Will I want to be in hell? She's got pretty eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's pretty. She reminds me of Evangeline Lilly from Lost. Kate, I know you only watched one episode, one of, but huh. the main girl. She's also in Ant-Man and the Wasp. She's the Wasp. Oh, cool. Yeah. We'll begin where I found the tiny spear in my neck. Fine. Hmm. Gonna need to get you some clean clothes. I wonder why that body got a freaking screwdriver in the neck. Yeah. I'm glad she's being reasonable, though. Like, I want to believe her. I want to believe that she's good and doesn't want to hurt Lucifer. Because really, it's not his fault. It's God's fault. So. I think you left out a minor detail. Oh, dear. Is that the dad? I don't know. Oh, the, the little kid? That would be oh. so sad. Oh, we didn't do the fucking intro. Hey bud. Ew. Can I tag in next? This one you could kill, come on. <laughs> I'm joking! 
joking, I'm joking, mother. <laughs> oh, I want to see Can her I fuck someone up. In I want to see her fuck someone up. So disgusting. I know, me too. Is that her? <laughs> in a human body. Millennia, Lucifer. With no physical form. <laughs> Until I've worked out whether she's lying or not, she can't be trusted. You want me to babysit? Well, my mum in the body of a disturbingly hot woman suit, but yes, <laughs> for now. Just wondering if there's any fresh homicides popped up. Ooh, the doll. Face. You look a bit like the doll. <laughs> <laughs> you ever do that shit to your dolls as a kid? I would, like, cut off mm. their hair. I would give them haircuts. I, mean, I gave my Barbies bangs. I gave my American Girl doll a haircut once, and not too happy my mom was. Trixie's best friend Landa got a new all-American doll, and now Trixie wants one. So what does she do? She destroys her old doll, expecting me to replace it. Oh, impressive. Why don't you comply, then we can get on, no. yes? Abandon the child in its time of need, and it won't trust you in the future. Is that what you want, it. detective? Decker. Ugh. No wallet, no keys. Will the woman's phone help? Well, yes, of course, but we don't have... A phone! <sighs> wow. Good eye, Luce. Luce. Ifer. Lucy. <laughs> oh, I love his name like as She's Lucy. kind of like an older Trixie. Yeah, like, you're does, right. Doesn't she look like her if she was like aged up? It's like Sims. So obvious. Your Cinder Heli and had just plunged a screwdriver into the poor lad. Cinder when she was interrupted by the chambermaid who she then snuffed out with a bare hand. Clearly not man hands. I've seen some guys with some pretty tiny lady hands. Dan doesn't count. Come on. Okay, regardless. <laughs> I still think we're looking at a third party. The thing is, not even the mom knows. I know, well, because she, she doesn't just have their memories, body. it's just the physical body. You cannot right. recover anything from the SIM card. Water and phones, bad news. My gloves. So much for that. Uh, no. Oh. No, because I did get oh. a serial number off of it. So, Richards and Wheeler, high end locker room in Beverly Hills. Next time, if you want, you know, you just lead with that information. <laughs> if you want. Okay, boss, where do you want me? Aw, oh, she likes to talk. Yeah. Hello? this thing on? I keep waiting for God to talk back to me, too. He is listening. It's just a one-way intercom kind of deal. And you have pack on and keys. Get in. Okay, boy. Have that doesn't look too good. Here's a key. What is this strange, gooey substance that this boy is cooing about? You watching porn? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's like money. Humans use it to buy things they can't afford. Humans are silly animals, aren't they? Weak. That's what I'm counting on. No. What, what the we? hell is she gonna do? Torture her. Resume where they left off. Yo, Mazikeen's outfits, though. Yeah, I understand. I understand. They just get better and better. Maybe I couldn't hurt you because you weren't human. Hell gives the damned what they deserve. I didn't deserve to be punished. I think it's because I just didn't find your weak spot. This body only heals once, and Lucifer told you not to harm me. You may have him confused right now, but he's smart. Lucifer made a deal with your ex to take you back to hell, and he doesn't break deals. Why would she tell her that, though? Made a deal? Is that a weak spot? Oh. Are those tears? Oh! Oh! Don't mess with Maze, man. Apparently, don't mess with uh with her Millennia either. What's her name? Millennia. Millennia? Is it? No, it's not Millennia. <laughs> that's that's a word. That's like a real word. <laughs> what is her name? Well, her human name was Charlotte. Charlotte. I don't think we know her real name. I thought we just know her as Mum. It seems Mum might not be a lying sack of savagery after all, but it also seems that she's the target of a vicious cartel hitman. You mustn't let her leave the penthouse until this whole mess is resolved, right, sir? Your mom's gone. Huh? I may have let the whole deal with God thing slip, so I think she might be running away. Okay, then we'll just have to find her before that happens. He's like I mean, surprisingly how calm far can about it. Still being trapped in a feeble human body for the first time yet. She's stupid hot. Wearing my clothes. And she's got a corporate credit card. Oh god. She's gonna make mac and cheese. She's gonna make a big ass pot Wait, of mac look. and cheese. 
It was him. Well, so he no had a shit. screwdriver in his hand? No shit, it was him. He All was right, so sus babe. and not intel- In the interrogation, he was so sus. Don't give me that, Charlotte. By the way, thanks for using the credit card reopen for the Perez case. Oh, I know who you are now. You're the one who killed me. Well, apparently not, but I am now. Sorry. <laughs> he just bonked him. Detective? Well, the detective knows you're alive now, so you're gonna have to sell the whole Charlotte charade. Oh, you little devil. Yes. About that. We've never met until now. Don't know each other. Fear it's too much for the detective to handle. Well, looks like she can handle quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, that's my girl. Oh, I love them. I know, me too. They'll end up together one day, I believe. I hope. Yeah, I wonder if he's gonna go back to hell, though. I hope not. What am I gonna do with you? Well, I can think of a few things. You need to follow the rules. No more buying my daughter $200 dolls. Well, why not? You weren't going to. I was teaching her a lesson. Neglect 101. You're abandoning her in a time of need, detective. Doing what's best for your child, it doesn't always make them happy. I just wanted to apologize. Oh? I may have forged a friendship with you under false pretenses, yes. Do you think if he apologizes consider you for, friend. like, his wrongdoings, and those powers will come back? Because he's done a lot of bad stuff. Maybe. Not like that. Oh, maybe that's the reason. Oh. You're arguing that that's the reason why his powers are gone? Yeah. <sighs> Apology accepted. Thank you. Night. Good night. Yeah, I think God's kind of just like, you're an angel, what are you doing? I could see that. I didn't even think about that. I thought it was somehow the mom, which, like, they kind of lead you to believe it's about that. But Amenitiel's going through his own journey that I feel like we haven't talked about. And I think, yeah, and I also think that's why the feather came down. It was his feather, but, like, it, was it like came a out reminder, of nowhere. Maybe. It's like, yeah, like, you're supposed to be an angel. A right, like a reminder of who he is. Yeah, that makes sense. He's molting, yo. Dude, they're turning gray. Wow. That was really powerful. It made me sad. I wish with all my being that things could go back to the way they were. I want what your father took from me. But I know that's not possible. It's too late. You just stood by and watched as I was cast out. There aren't enough cheesy noodles in the universe to fix all that, I'm afraid. I understand where he's yeah, coming yo, from. Yeah, yo, he's hurt. And That's also, like a like, big wound. He shouldn't believe her so easily, either. She comes back for a day and tries to be good, makes some burnt cheesy noodles. Oh, let's see if he could light see, his. Yeah, I was gonna say. Your father never sent you to hell. Oh, yo, did she? I did. Oh, great. Much better. He wanted to destroy you. I asked him to send you to hell instead. If you still need me to return to hell, I understand. Yeah, he actually, like, suffered a worse fate. Yeah. All right, you can stay. For now. <sighs> Thank you, son. Yeah. That's so sad. Like, he wanted to destroy him do because you think of her Do you think she's being dead ass, though? I don't know. Let's look at this right now. I don't know. She seems genuine. Yeah, but I don't know. But like, what have we ever gotten? Look. Out? Okay, I that... don't think she's being genuine Hold now. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, but hear me out. That look was at God, right? Like almost like, ha. Like, but you, you sent me to hell. You sent me to hell, so I'm not getting back. So I, I don't think that that was in reference to, like, her opening up to Lucifer and her being not genuine about that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I trust her for now. And I trust everything that she said. I know, but we're, like, keeping, like, our foot in the door a little bit. Right, because I don't know if she's doing everything that she's doing just to spite God or if she, I don't think that, you know what I mean? I don't know if she genuinely, like, wants to I, be a good mother and redeem I herself, think... or if she just wanted to get out of hell, and she used her son, literally, to get out of hell. 
And now to stay out of hell, she's going to need him to be on her side. How did she use him to get out of hell? When he went back down after the whole Malcolm situation happened, that's how she escaped. She She would not have been able to get out had he not went back down there. The gates were already open when he went down. They were already opened. He was Mm. like, what the hell is that? Because he didn't actually go into hell. Oh, you're right, you're right. He went to the gates and he saw something was open. So because he wasn't guarding it, that's how she So I genuinely think, because when she woke up, she was like, I have to look for Lucifer. I genuinely do think that she came to talk to him and be like... Make up like, for everything. She was upset he didn't even go see her, like, so she couldn't even explain what happened if she wanted to. Yeah. And Lucifer thought that she was upset because, you know, Lucifer did nothing, but she's not really upset about that. She is very self-aware. She wants to, like, rectify. She's self-aware in the fact that she realizes that, um, like, she fucked up. You know what yeah. I mean? And she shouldn't be mad at Lucifer for something that God did. And also, he wasn't, Lucifer wasn't mad at, um, what was her name? What's the detective's name again? Chloe? Chloe, I'm sorry. I was gonna say Caitlin. It's been a long Caitlin. two weeks, three weeks. Um, he wasn't mad at Caitlin about the doll. Chloe. Clo- <laughs> Caitlin, where are you getting Caitlin? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, he wasn't mad at Chloe, like... Because he wanted her to stay on the case. It was because he's having issues with his mother right now. And he didn't get what he needed from his mom. And yeah. that's what made him not like his own. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know if the Caitlyn thing was. Like, um, he just wanted her to get, give in. Yeah. Just because, like, he needed something from his mom. He And he that. didn't want. Yeah. You know. It's interesting how every case, every episode, well, now, very obviously, is related to Lucifer and his, like relationship to his parents. I know. The whole first season basically was about the father. Now I think you were right. It's going to be it's about be his about mom's relationship, relationship yeah. in the second. That's very interesting. And maybe the third will be like Chloe. They just go through a different character <laughs> yeah. every season. All the they get Trixie yeah. one season. Yeah. Also that girl, the detective. She like, does look she like She looks, Trixie. she also kind of talks like her with a right? raspy voice. She looks like she could be like an aged up version of her or like her sister in real life. I'm sure we're like overthinking. Okay. No. But, don't, don't even say it. But you're no. gonna get, you're gonna get mad shit. No, I'm just saying, cause we do get mad shit for thinking too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's a speculation. That she's it's, the older sister. No, Trixie. not that she's the older sister, that she has something like around that. Maybe, you know? but I mean, we, like, we overthink a lot apparently. So yeah, well, I, I think that's important in a it show. Is. It is because we're figuring. I'm out not just gonna be like, go. yeah, that was cool. That episode was awesome. Let's like watch the next one. <laughs> that's what I'm saying no. though. But yeah, it's interesting that her character is also um the the newbie, the rookie is like very she's religious. Like, she's not weird, like um she's like not religiously weird. weird. You know what I mean? She's also like you can kind of go about it your own way, whatever you want, but like. You know. She offers a very interesting yes. perspective in the context of this show. I, I agree. I even thought she, like, said at one point, like, religion was a big part of her, but, like, it wasn't, like, everything. Yeah. That's... Which is usually how it should be. If yeah. You, I don't know. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, don't... Uh, don't cross that line. <laughs> I yeah, like I agree. She's cool. But my most, like, I guess, thing that I'm looking forward to, I really like the, the actress for, um... The The mom. mom. I think that's going to be very interesting. It Also, a point that was brought up that was interesting was the fact that um, Maze was like, I I tortured you, so, like, let's resume. And then, um, I'm just going to call her Charlotte for now, because I don't think we got a real name. Um, She was like, yeah, you couldn't torture me in hell because I didn't do anything wrong. She also says you didn't have a physical body in hell. It was that, uh, am I overthinking that part? I thought I heard that. She said now she has a physical body. Yeah, no, no, May said that. May said that for, like, eons, for millennia, which is why you thought her name was millennia. She said for oh. millennia, she didn't, have a, she didn't have a physical form. So, like, what makes now so different that she all of a sudden she was... human flesh. I don't know. No, no, but why, but, you know, just all of a sudden, the past five years, you couldn't escape if the doors were open and Lucifer was retired? Yeah, you know, I really don't know about that. You think it's because... He's not technically retired. He's saying he's retired, but there's no one else guarding hell. It's supposed to be a meta deal, but a meta deal is still here. And now his wings are freaking molting. So that's so probably how she could have gotten out because a meta deal was like really involved Maybe. on Earth by the time she got out. Yeah. And she's also very powerful. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like she's literally from heaven. She is really powerful. She's the mom. So I think there's a lot more to be uncovered there. Like a lot that we're not. Um connecting and that we kind of need like information to connect 
Because I have a lot of questions. I have a question of why, because she said she wasn't able to be tortured. So that makes me think, why was she sent to hell in the first place? Lucifer said it's because she also rebelled against God. And against whatever, you know, his creation she was fucking around with when he was creating humans. She put in her input, which is what Lucifer did also. Lucifer just started a rebellion over it. I don't know what she did. I don't know if she just agreed with Lucifer and then God sent her back. But God, for somebody who's supposed to be, like, morally good and make, like, just informed decisions and weigh the good and bad, I don't believe that he would just send the mom to hell for something that, you know what I mean, wasn't truly evil. Yeah. But then then I'm asking myself, why couldn't Maze torture her? And you know if what? If Maze said that she couldn't torture her in hell. But Maze was like, I, I just haven't found your weak spot. So is that really true? Like, did, did she just need to reveal her weak spot? Is that how you torture people? Because everybody's hell is different. Well, based yeah, well, on they're, their, they're what weak. they love. Well, yeah, because I remember the one was, like, food, and, like, he loved Malcolm. food so much. Yeah, Malcolm. He loved food so much, he was starved. So maybe that's why. Um, Because she didn't find her weak spot. I also know that we're not very versed in, like, biblical stuff, because I haven't been to, like, Sunday school since I was four. I don't think that matters, though. I know, but, like, I feel like if we maybe looked up that why she was cast down... We could find I don't want to look it up. I don't want to look it up either because I like figuring it out. Yeah. So, um. And I think we're going to get that. We got, like, a preview. Lucifer said that she rebelled against God for some reason. And maybe she was really sent because she genuinely, like, rebelled against him and, and just, you know, did something bad. I guess yeah. did something so bad that she was sent to fucking hell. Sent to the worst fate ever. But then she said that she was the one that sent Lucifer down there. Yeah. So. Yeah, but she did that to save him. That's what she so said. So I don't, I think that... Do you think she was lying she about that? I don't, I don't know. That's I think that she was lying about that just to, you know, get Lucifer to, to trust her, be on her side, whatever, and then she looks up at God like, ha ha, bitch. Like, I got him to believe me. He likes me he, more now than you. He's gonna fucking, you know, And he was hate just you. starting to, like, kind of mend, in a way, a relationship with God, kind of, like, kind of, kind of, like, that's what we saw, like, a little bit. Well, he struck a deal with him with the whole Malcolm thing, so yeah, you could argue that he was, he was getting a little bit closer. And now it's just, like, one step forward with the mom, ten steps back for God. Yeah. Um, another thing to talk about is Amenadiel's, like, wings molting. Yeah, that's, that's... I'm kind of... My whole thing that I was talking about before is, like, he's been doing a lot of stuff on Earth, a lot of stuff he wouldn't normally do. Like, he's drinking wine, he's having sex, he's doing all of these things, right? He just slept with the enemy. Yeah, literally. But is that enough to warrant him losing his wings? Well, isn't he supposed to be, like, kind of, like, God's second-hand man here? Well, I think think it's more... right-hand man. I think it's more so he's losing his wings because he's failing his mission. Yeah, that... Of getting Lucifer. He's also doing so many bad things, and that's why I think if he, like, tries to, like rectify these He's not things. really doing bad things, though. Yes, but it's bad compared to what he would else do. Do you know what I'm saying? I it's understand. not bad. I understand. I think it's because he's failing his mission, though, yeah. and God sent him on a mission to get Lucifer back, and now him and Lucifer are, like, working together, almost, like, solving this, this case with the mom and, like, trying to... They're working together, which I love. We love as viewers, but I don't think God's gonna love that because he's like, yo, like, stay on mission. So he's punishing him for that. He's like, okay, you don't want to listen to me? You're going to lose your wings. Yeah. So I think this is, like, his little taste of, like, maybe I should... Now, is going to deal with that conflict of, like, um, do I do this to please God, you know, and, and be his favorite son? Or do I do I go with my heart and, like, stick with my brother who I've been fighting with for centuries? And he doesn't even know that he found the mom, that Lucifer found the mom. Not yet, yeah. Because... He's been trying to call him, and he can't answer. The magic... Not the magic. The, you know, the powers aren't working. Yeah. I definitely... I know that we'll get more information on that. It's just, like... I don't know. I think it's crazy, and it's fun to just speculate on it. It is. I really liked this episode, because it it opened up a lot of new stuff and a lot of things to think about. Like, I'm, I'm questioning the mom now, and what her true motives are i think that she right now my thing is like she's trying to spite god she doesn't like god obviously because she was sent to hell her weak spot is lucifer and her relationship with lucifer and i guess she feels some type of way about that and the fact that um they didn't have a good relationship and he thought that you know she was he oversaw her torture so maybe that's something that she's gonna think about in the back of her mind also i guess so oh she may 
Like, are you also saying, like, maybe she's trying to get back at Lucifer in a way? Or no? I don't know. I think she's because ultimately she trying her. to get back at God, but I think that for now, like, to stay in her human form and not go back to hell, she needs to, like, be buddy-buddy with Lucifer. I also do feel like, I don't know if it's just, like, manipulation, though, that she does also feel bad about everything and, like, she doesn't want... She knows, like, he's angry about becoming, like, this villain, even though he's not, like, a villain. Yeah. Also, I think, I think it's kind of shitty of God to be sending people that don't actually want to, like, be, like, evil, like, into a place where you're presumably evil. Like, that's shitty. What do you mean? Like, Lucifer? Like, sending Like, Lucifer. Lucifer he's literally the bringer of light, and all he did was rebel against him. And so you want to destroy him? If that's the real story. Yeah, but he rebelled him against down? him while he was creating humans, right? So it could have been, like, a very, like... Detrimental. Life altering thing, not life altering, like humankind altering decision that Lucifer was going against. So, like, to teach him a lesson, you gotta punish your kid, I guess. Put him in a timeout for fucking eons, I for guess. Eons, yeah. So, which sucks. Like, I do feel bad for Lucifer. I don't agree with that decision. Otherwise, he was gonna destroy him. Which, if I were Lucifer, I would have been like, I wish you destroyed me. Like, is it really worth? He said that. He's like, I would have rather been... He literally said I would have rather that. Yeah, I would... I agree. I ag- I would have rather been destroyed. Yeah, I don't too. want to be stuck in hell for that long. Vilified. Literally vilified. By everybody. You know? Kind of looked at as this evil thing when really it was just him standing up for his beliefs. Yeah, but also how is he even evil if we're going on like... I'm just gonna like say He's not. It. That's a, that's, that's the what gag. I'm saying. Why are people calling him like the, the devil and like Satan and everything evil if it's just like torturing or like doing just to the evil of the world do you know what i'm saying i guess but he's like that's kind of stupid to like call someone evil for like punishing evil yeah but they call him evil because he's the torturer of all those souls and uh, the torturer of all these evil souls must be in these people's minds inherently evil himself nah but i understand what you're saying that's why he has that reputation is what i'm saying i agree i'm on lucifer's side i i you know i feel bad that he's vilified uh, silly gooses in the universe yeah a lot of silly gooses so we've been talking for a while though so sorry if you sit through that whole thing if you listen that's great um yeah any any thoughts before going into the next episode no i kind of got all my uh my things out um i'm just excited to like know more about the molting i'm like really interested in that oh um me too yeah me too But yeah, unless you have any other thoughts, I guess we'll wrap it up, get into the next episode. So yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Check out my other reactions if you have not already, and we will see you guys for episode three. All right, bye guys.